Hi, this is Lenny Agony. I've had a bit of feedback lately from people wanting to know how to make a cage for baking an X normal so uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, to start with you need to have your final high poly sculpt and you also want to have your low poly and the low poly needs to be quite close to final so you need to have your final UVs on the low poly and the final polygon count or at least final enough for a bake uh, and they need to be centered on each other so you can see here the low poly is on top of the high poly and they're centered on the grid so the first thing I do is I duplicate my low poly so with the low poly selected I right click on the low poly and go to clone and then I make sure this is on copy and I change it to I rename it to cage uh, I then hide my low poly and with the cage that I just created selected you need to unify your normals so I do this by going to my modifiers and selecting uh, edit normals which brings up uh, or at least it displays all of your normals which are poking out as blue lines so if you just select all of them by drag selecting and then click unify I then collapse the stack and you may not actually need to do this but if you select all of the polygons and I just clear all of the smoothing groups as well just to be safe and then I reset my X form by going to utilities reset X form reset selected and then I right click and collapse my stack again and now I add a push modifier so just modifier stack push and uh, what you want to do here is push your cage out far enough so that it encases the entirety of your sculpt but you can't push it too far otherwise you can end up having uh, having errors in your bake I'll push this if I push this one a fair way so everything everything is encased in my cage so that entire high poly is encased apart from this little diamond shape here and even though this part is close uh, it's actually encased and then I have this small problem up here where due to the shape of the mesh it's going to stick through no matter how far I, po I, I, I push it so uh, I'm pretty happy with that uh, usually it's a bad idea to change a cage you can't add any polygons otherwise X normal will just refuse to use your cage file it needs to be pretty much an exact duplicate of your low poly however what you can do is you can move the verts around a little bit uh, however you don't want to do too much of this because if you have to come back and make a change uh, or if you're working in a studio somewhere and someone else has to pick up your work behind you they don't know that you've, you've edited the cage or if you need to make some changes every time you then need to make uh, cage changes and it can become a real pain so I usually try to keep it to a minimum which in this case is this small change I make here I just move the cage until and encases the entire high poly pretty minimal and I feel okay with doing that so now that that's done I'll reset the X form again and collapse my stack and this should leave you with your final cage to bake with uh, I'll go through and show you how to bake now I have another tutorial for that but I'll show you again with my cage selected I go to export export selected I select cage or I make a file called cage and I save that as an OBJ file and within the OBJ export I turn off materials I don't need texture coordinates on my 
cage and I change it to triangles because it's triangulated and my low poly is triangulated as well. Then I hide my cage file and I select my low poly, my, my low poly mesh. And I go to export, export selected again, low, OBJ, uh, turn off the materials and make sure it's on triangulated with the normals and you want texture coordinates. Then I hide, hide my low poly and I select my high poly sculpt and I export, export selected, high, save. Uh, again, turn off the materials. I want the normals. I don't need the texture coordinates and this can stay as quads because the mesh isn't triangulated. And then you just have to load X normal and you click on high definition meshes on the right. Then right click in this blank white space and do add mesh. And I add the high poly and then I go down to low definition meshes, right click in this white space, add meshes, add my low, and then I click on the name of the low, the blue square, and do browse external cage file, and I'll add the cage file. Uh, it'll always bring up this warning, and if you made, if you changed your cage mesh at all, it won't work. So this is just reminding you that, that you can't change it, it's got to be pretty much a duplicate. Then I go down to baking options, put whatever name in you want, and to do a test, I'll just bake a normal map. And there you have it, a, a normal map baked with a cage in X normal. Uh, an interesting observation here is if you look at your cage file, or your cage mesh, sorry, uh, and where it intersects here, so this is a, it's only a very small intersection, but you can see the diamond shape which I mentioned earlier. And if you look at your normal map, and right where I'm circling with the mouse, you can see the small diamond shape in the normal map. Uh, and this is an error, so if you have large areas that are intersecting with your cage, you'll get large areas on your normal map, or any other bake, so your AO or whatever, you'll get big black, big black marks and errors. So it's a bit of a balancing act between pushing your mesh out, covering your high poly and reducing the errors that come through onto your normal or any of your bakes. So to recap, you need to have your final sculpt and you need to have your low poly mesh ready for baking. So it needs to be pretty close to final and you need to have final UV maps. Uh, and then you need to, so final here, and then you duplicate your low poly and you unify the normals and then you use a push modifier to push that out and then you collapse your stack and export it. And you just wanna make sure that all of the pivot points are, for all of your meshes are exactly at zero, zero as well otherwise they might appear at different places in X normal and you'll have errors with your bakes but uh that's pretty much it it's 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 not too difficult and i really do hope it's been helpful so if this was helpful uh please follow me on youtube or on my steam workshop thanks for watching